Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the soft assertions in TestNG. So in the last tutorial, we have seen how you can assert uh, or how you can use the assert, uh, you know, class and the methods within assert to basically do some basic verification of your test cases. And we have also gone through some of the methods that are available in the assert class. Now, there are, you know, requirements uh, for the assertions in many cases, wherein you might be having multiple assertions in a single test case, or, you know, uh, there will be, you know, like say, five or six different uh, verification points in your particular test case. And uh, if there is a failure in one particular, you know, uh, assertion, what will happen to the other, you know, um, assertions that are uh, ahead of that particular assertion? Say, for example, uh, you know, you are verifying the title and the title match failed. And after that, you are verifying certain text or certain uh, presence of certain web elements on the same page. Then uh, if the title gets failed and you are using the assert class and the methods in the assert class, then the test case will stop at that particular failure itself. It won't go further and do the verification or do the assertions for the other asserts that you are having in your test case. And uh, that's a bit of, you know, like a challenge and uh, you, you most of the time you won't be, you know, doing the hard failure. So if you're using assert, it will be always if the uh, assert fails or the verification fails, the test script will stop then and there. But uh, in case of soft assert, the script will continue even if the failure happens, that failure will be recorded and the script will continue on. So there are many scenarios wherein hard assert or the, the assert will be helpful and the soft assert. So you have to basically um, figure out which one suits best at that particular uh, requirement. Say for example, so let me take an example to uh, demo the soft assert. So I'll simply copy this class and uh, use uh, the same. So in this one, what I'll say is I'll verify the title uh, and text test and so this will have two asserts and I'll show you how if you are using, uh, you know, assert, then what will be the impact and why do we need soft assertions? OK, so what we are doing um, as as it is the, you know, like previous tests, we are verifying the title. And once the title, uh, say, for example, it fails um, or passed, uh, I want to also verify some text on this particular page. OK, so let me go to eBay.com and here. Uh, so, for example, I want to verify this, you know, text uh, that is displayed on uh, this particular search box or search button. So I'll just right click and inspect and uh, just copy uh, the X path for this one. So so that I can get the value. So you can see the value uh, attribute is having that particular text search. OK, so I'll get this uh, value and then I'll verify that this particular button contains this value. OK. So let me declare the expected um, text as well. So I'll say expected text and here I'll say search. All right. So this is my expected text, which could be, you know, like coming from the external file. So this, this, this can also come from your external CSV or XLS file in the actual scenarios. But here I'm just explaining and hard coding these values in the script. In actual scenarios, you won't be doing that. And we'll be covering how you can externalize all these values in the files uh, when we cover the framework section. So this is the expected uh, text. So we have expected title and text. And now let me add another assertion and I'll say assert dot assert equals and I'll verify the string, right? So let me use, oh, that's not the one. So assert dot assert equals and we need uh, the string. So a string with a message, so I'll show you uh, the message as well. So a string equals a string and we'll need to scroll down further. So a string actual and expected with a message. OK, so actual is something which we need to get from this particular page. So how we can get the actual uh, string or the message or text from that text box, we can simply store it in the actual uh, text. Uh, variable and I can simply say driver dot find element 
by x path we have already copied I'll just paste the x path and then we have the method get attribute right so we uh, this is the selenium uh, method already there so we can you know get attribute by the attribute name so what is the attribute that we want to get the value for the value is the attribute right so this particular tag has different attributes like type class id etc so i want the value or uh, i want the text of the value attribute so i'll copy this and then simply provide that attribute here and get attribute and then it will store uh, or it will get the value for that particular attribute and store it in the actual text now i have to verify so basically i'll use assert dot asset equals and then uh, expected text right we'll go into expected and the actual text will go into the actual text right so as same as actual title and expected title and here you can put your custom message so in case your you know assertion fail you will get that failure exception along uh, this message in the failure exception along with the exception so you can say uh, text uh, verification failed so something any custom message that you are looking for you can provide that similarly you can have the same message being displayed in the previous one as well so i will say here uh, title verification failed okay so now here um, if i execute this test case now so let me run it and show you that everything is running as expected and there are no failures and then i'll show you when say for example first assertion failed what will happen in that particular case so you can see that the test case has uh, you know executed and here you see the that it has passed and it is all green right so there are no failures at the moment but say for example uh, this first assertion got failed okay so the title verification failed the title that you are expecting is not what is available in the actual result so i have updated this title so that it it fails this particular test and then let's run it and see what will happen in this particular case so after running this now this time title verification uh, will fail because they won't match right and you can see the title verification failed the browser didn't close okay because what happens in this particular uh, assertion because there are two assertions and as soon as this first assertion failed the script stopped at this particular line okay line number 22 it doesn't proceed further to execute further steps if you are using hard assert or these you know assert dot assert equals and that is the reason why you would be needing soft assertion now in order to implement soft assert there is a class in test ng soft assert and we have to create an object of that class and instead of using assert dot assert equals we'll use the soft assert dot assert equals okay so uh, prior to that i want to just add a couple of you know um, output messages here so that uh, when we execute the code it's more clear so uh, let me just put the sys out there and then i'll say verifying uh, title and similar thing for the next verification or next assert we'll say verifying text and then we'll say closing browser all right uh, closing browser okay so now if i run it again we can see the messages so it will be more clear when we use soft assert uh, uh, as compared to hard assert so in the console, we'll be able to see which line got executed and which line didn't got executed, right? So here, if you see, uh, there is a failure and it, it came to verifying title, right? So this, this line got printed and a title verification um, failed, right? So title verification failed and then it didn't print anything, right? And browser didn't got closed. And uh, we have also mentioned that uh, this particular uh, custom message for assert equals and if you go to this uh, you know logs here the exception you will see that custom message title verification failed expected uh, you know 
has been printed okay so whatever message you give here will be printed in your failure exception if the assert fails now because the hard assert you know uh, skips all the following steps if the particular assertion fails now if i want to execute both of these assertions and then uh, you know uh, report multiple failures or multiple assert failures then i have to use soft assert instead of hard assert and to use that simply create an object of the class class uh, soft assert and i'll say soft assert new soft i'll simply copy that so soft new soft assert and instead of using um, assert dot assert equals now what we'll do is we'll say soft assert dot assert equals all right that's the only thing we need to do okay the next thing is basically to add a line at the end soft assert dot assert uh, sorry uh, let me say okay here i have making a mistake soft assert so i'll just say soft assert and then we have to say soft assert dot assert all at the end okay and i'll comment this out first and uh, we'll execute this without soft assert dot assert all and then i'll show you uh, after this why do we need this soft assert dot assert all at the end so let me run this and see all the asserts are being executed in this particular case the title gets verif verified and the text gets uh, verified and if there are any assert failures the failure should be reported as well so here you can see the test case passed right but we know that the title uh, assertion got failed but it didn't got reported okay so you can see verifying title it got executed and then verifying text and then closing browser all right so in this particular case um, with the soft assert all the lines are being executed all right but the reported exception or the reported error uh, or the error the title verification error that happened is not reported at all so that is why we need to simply add soft assert dot assert all to report any failure or any assertion failure in this particular test case okay so at the last you have to add this particular line in your test and if you run your test now your test will be reported as fail and the assertion failures will be reported in your test cases as well so the whole script will get executed browser got closed and if we go to the title you will see the following asserts failed and title verification failed in this case right say for example the second assertion got failed as well okay let me uh, put some dummy value here okay garbage value uh, in the text and fail both of these asserts okay so in this case the whole test will get executed but multiple failures in the particular script will be reported as well and that's the advantage of using soft assert over hard assert okay so here you can see that it went through the whole you know script verify title verify text and then the following asserts fail so verification failed for uh, you know expect for the title so title verification failed and then text verification failed so both the assertions in the script got failed and this was not possible with the hard assert if you if we were using assert dot assert equals because with the hard assert the script stops executing from the failure or from the assertion failure at, at that particular point it doesn't execute any further steps in the script and that is all about soft assert and how you will be using soft assertion in test ng to verify multiple you know verification points or failures or uh, you know uh, attributes on, in your particular uh, selenium automation script so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching